Cowboys are a team that have certainly had their struggles of late. And for more on that, let's send it down to Heidi Watney at field level. Well, it's no secret this team has been in a slide of late. They've admitted they're a little bit frustrated. To start rehabilitating their mojo, it's crucial they find a way to grind out a win. But when you've been dropping one game after another, that's easier said than done. So let's see if they can find a way to get a W here and stop the bleeding. All right, Heidi, thank you. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. 17, three, Hoskins. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 0-1 offering. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. One and one. Here it is. Base hit. Line drive into the corner. And the run is in to score from second. Boy, those have to feel really good, D-Row. You just get late in the no game, you come three. up with Number a big three. RBI base hit Five. right here to give your team the lead. Four yeah, four. no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Yeah he's grinded this one out and he's got a chance to get through seven strong innings Dan that's got to light the bullpen up. Yeah and it does Mark because you sit out there in that bullpen and once that starter gets through the fifth and through the sixth inning the, the tension starts to calm a little bit out in that bullpen where you only have to get six or seven outs not eight or nine outs so a job well done so far. Now the one and one pitch is strike two that's swinging. That's Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. That misses and it's going to set up a big pitch now three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. So two runs on two hits, one error in the inning, and a runner left. We'll look ahead. Brandon Kinsler will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Brandon Kinsler. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. An impressive four for seven. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff man on base is and, and it's true. So in the eighth okay. inning of a one run game that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. At the plate Austin Riley Segura has it throw gets him two down. The center field number 25. Christian Pache. The batter will be Christian Pache. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 2. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. 
protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. Fly ball into straightaway left. McCutcheon is under it. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Braves. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Luke Jackson will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Johan Camargo will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. JT Realmuto is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Lays off the fastball low and it goes to two balls and a strike. The 2 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Jackson has tossed over 30 innings so far this season, and through those innings, he's posted a whip a little under 1.5. Certainly something he'd like to improve on. Struck him out. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute the missile batter. of a fastball. Third base Even man. if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, oh. it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Now a ball lined to the left side, but that'll land foul strike one. Hit on the ground to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as you'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Now that's not shortstop. GD. Victoria. Here's DD Gregorius. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Ozuna is under it. Two down. And now here is Gene Segura, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Swanson is calling for it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one, and up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens, I mean, just north of 95 plus, stuff diving all over the plate, it's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. The right field, the 13, so the batting order turns over now and set to go Ronald Acuna. He got under one and popped out his last time up. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. He's just one for six. First offering on its way. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. The one and oh delivery. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. 
That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Struck him out. Atlanta, good night. Well, they get that elusive win, what they've been looking for, and that will put an end to this awful skid, and they'll try to forget about it as soon as possible. Yeah.